I posted a video of this camper uh, several years ago on YouTube, but um, since I've had a lot more detailed video clips and I thought I'd compile them and show them again to you. Hi, I'm Paul Elkins, and this is the post-apocalyptic bicycle camper. Kind of a bug out vehicle too, if, if you want to call it that. This bicycle camper was um, kind of formulated uh, for something I wanted to take to Burning Man back in 2005. Concept here is what would a person need to get by in like a post-apocalyptic condition? And I figured if there's no electricity, there's no cars, and you wanted to get out of the city, maybe you'd have to create something like this. It's kind of fashioned for Burning Man in that they have extreme conditions there where there's a lot of um, wind and dust, so I kind of fashioned it to, with a big curve so I could place it against the wind and tie it down so the dang thing wouldn't blow away. So this is pretty much all just coroplast or fluted plastic. Um, I made the frame basically out of aluminum here, three quarter inch aluminum. And I was able to bend them and use them as the ribs. The frame is mostly made with a two by two wood. Nuts and bolts, pretty simple. Another thing I created was power. You gotta have some kind of power to power your lights. A few other things you might have that's electrical. This is actually um, a bicycle generator. I just crammed the little wooden blade on there, little PVC, little tin. I actually had this a lot higher up, so when the winds blew hard, it would catch this little sail right here, bend it back, and prevent this from uh, spinning real fast and possibly burning it out. Up here I have my little 12-volt solar panel to charge a little 12-volt battery. This is my solar water shower. And at the time, I had it plumbed into the wall here so where you could actually uh, have hot water right at your sink. The solar shower bag is plumbed to this line here, so if you ever want hot water, just turn it. This is uh, cold, fresh water, obviously, for drinking, washing up. This is the Tupperware dish for the sink. Low tech, no drain, just throw it out. Trash can little silverware holder here, holder for um, miscellaneous things. This is where uh, my pee bucket and poop bucket is. Pretty slick setup. Little kitty litter, you're good to go. Here's my cooler. Battery storage and uh, more things here. Storage for food is up here too. Tell me how my barter is doing. Over here we've got the light switches. I've got about four light switches. Four lights going on in here. In the cooking gallery we got a one burner butane stove. The metal was put around the stove to protect the walls. Here I've got a little spice shelf. This is for my dirty clothes. <laughs> Probably not the best place to put it right next to where you're sleeping. <laughs> then I've got whites here and regular clothes here. These two are lights. Over here I got a little shelf for my reading pleasure. Looks like rain again. Oh well, at least I'm staying dry. <laughs> I put this door up for conditions just like this. So when it's raining or sunny, you can still sit out here and enjoy the outdoors. On the door here, I hooked a big tube and had fashioned a uh, tarp to where I could have a shower curtain here. One I've got is a uh, food dehydrator. And I actually tried this out and it worked pretty good. 
little air vent. And this is kind of uh, where the heat is collected for the uh, food dehydrator. So I made this kind of short just because I wanted to uh, keep it as small as possible. Put a little bubble in the rear here where I could put my head out at night. Um, I always wanted to look up at the stars at night, so this gives me an opportunity. And then also I have a cut out an opening on the bottom so I'm not creating all kinds of condensation at night time. I created this flat pretty much just for ventilation purposes. Here's my window. I actually had a little pee funnel right here. So if I was out in the middle of the playa and had to go pee instead of doing it on the playa, I just had a little jug there and table goes up. So when uh, you're not using this as a bed, you have the option to uh, drop the floor. And then bring the back up. Now you got yourself a recliner. So this was kind of fashioned after like a Mad Max experience. It's kind of more for Burning Man, just just a playful thing. But I really like it for hanging out in. It's quite fun. I've taken it two times now to Burning Man, and it's served me well. It shows you what you need to really get by in the world, and it's actually you don't need much. You need a place to sit, you need a place to lay down, to sleep, you need a place to put your clothes, your food, um, to cook. That's kind of what this is, just as small as a package as you can get for getting by.